Today, I'm gonna talk about a simple thing that you can do to become a better painter. It involves your eyes. Let's take a look. So much about good painting is how we see things. Well, today I'm gonna talk about squinting. This age old painting secret has been helping artists for years to simplify scenes and to make stronger paintings. Squinting helps to simplify your subject. When you squint, the finer details of the scene, the distractions of the scene, all are simplified. And this allows you to focus more on the broad shapes and the values and the overall composition of your painting. And it's this simplification that is crucial for creating a strong visual impact. Number two, squinting enhances contrast and values. So when you're looking at your scene, you're trying to see in values. And values are simply how light or how dark something is. And values are really what makes your painting work. I've talked about over and over and over again, if you wanna paint light in your scene, values is the main tool that we have to do that. So by squinting, we're better able to see the contrast and the values of the scene. Number three, squinting allows for better color perception. A lot of times we have preconceived notions of what color certain things are. You know, we always think the sky is blue, the grass is green, but there are so many nuances in these shades of color. And by squinting, we can more accurately perceive what those colors are. Number four, squinting helps you improve your composition. Again, this goes back to seeing the big shapes of the scene. We can assess things more clearly if we are eliminating detail and not getting too hung up on the small things in the scene and focusing more on the overall composition. By simplifying the scene, you can identify areas that may need adjustment in terms of focal points, leading lines, or the distribution of elements in your composition. When you squint, you can think more in terms of shape, you can more clearly grow grasp your composition and you can understand what elements need to be moved around in terms of balance and put together an overall better composition. Number five, squinting promotes a more painterly approach. We become more expressive in the way that we paint the scene. We're no longer trying to render things exactly as they are. We're less consumed with the small details of things and more about the larger form. And this can really impact the way that you make brush marks. You can be less tight and more expressive, which is really the goal of so many of us as painters, to really express how the scene makes us feel, the impact the scene has on us, rather than just rendering everything exactly as it is. And number six is so important, squinting helps prevent overworking. I can't tell you how many people have asked me, how can I stop overworking my watercolors? If you can really start to squint and see the simple statement of your scene, this will help you get a painting down on paper and not be so consumed with finishing every little bit of it in such an exact way. Squinting can remind you not to get lost in the details. Overworking a painting can lead to a loss of freshness and spontaneity. Squinting serves as a reminder to stay focused on the big picture and avoid unnecessary detail. Use this simple strategy to help you simplify your scenes and make more compelling, stronger watercolor paintings. Have you ever been really excited about a painting and you get all set up, you find that right reference that you're excited about, and then it's time to go and you feel lost? You ever had that experience? You just are having a hard time finding consistency. Some of your paintings turn out, some of your paintings don't turn out, and you're not really sure why. Well, I have a free resource that I wanna to give to you today that can help exactly with these problems. My five steps to plan a successful watercolor painting. I walk you through the crucial planning phase of your painting that will help you understand what you're going to paint first, second, and third. The planning is really so important, especially in watercolor. This medium is harder to correct. It's so immediate. So having that plan is very important. I send you a PDF that you can download. And the great thing about this is you can have it on your phone, you could print it out, and you can take a look at these crucial planning steps before you start each painting to ensure that you're thinking through these important things as you get started. You can download this right now before you start your next painting. All you have to do is follow this link here and download my five-step guide to planning a successful watercolor painting.